I am Nishtha. Welcome you all to our new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video, we're going to check out the default functionality of Magento 2, wherein we're going to see how to export advanced pricing of products into our CSV file format. But before I proceed further, kindly do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for further updates from our end. And if you do like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Now, let's move towards our admin backend panel of Magento 2 to showcase the workflow of this functionality. Now, as you can see, I'm on the backend admin panel of Magento 2. Here, I'm going to log in. You have to enter the username and password. Once you logged in into the panel, you can see the dashboard. On the left-hand side, there is an option of system. You have to click on that system option. Under that, you can see the data transfer option is there. Under that, you can see the export option. You have to click on that export option. Once you click on the export option, you can see all the settings of export. On the bottom side, you can see like the files which we have downloaded previously are there. And also this entity type. You have to select the entity type. Here you can see there are five types, advanced pricing, products, customers, main file, customer addresses, stock sources. So as of now, I'm just going to tell you how to export advanced pricing. Rest of the points we're going to see in the upcoming videos. Next option is CSV format. And next one is fields enclosure. If you want to prevent your data export from special characters. So you can check this inbox field enclosure. Otherwise, do not check this option. Here you can see the entity attributes options are there. Just in case if you want to exclude some of the entities, so you can check those entities. Then those uh, the like the products which we which are having the that kind of entities will not going to export. Or if you want to include any kind of entity or any kind of category. So you can click on this category option and here you have to mention the category ID. Then only those products will going to export which are having the same ID of this category and also having the advanced pricing. As of now, I'm not going to select any of these option. Scrolling down, you can see the continue option is there. You have to click on this continue option. Once you click on this continue option, you can see the pop-up is there. Message is added to queue. Wait to get your file soon. Make sure your current job is running to export the file. Kindly note for downloading or exporting this file, the Chrome job must be running on the backend. In this, the Chrome job is running in the backend. Here you can see the file which is exported is mentioned here. From the select option, you can even download the file or if you want to delete, you can click on the delete option. I am clicking on download. The file is downloaded. We are going to open the file. As of now, I have only added, added the advanced pricing in the one product, watch chronography. Here you can see the tier pricing website, tier pricing customer group, tier pricing quantity, tier pricing and value type. So in the first one, the customer which are going to log in and will going to add three products in the cart in the uh, like cart then only they will going to have a discount of 30 percent and in the second option you can see the customers which are not going to log in and if they are adding one product then they will going to have a fixed amount of 1700 so that was much about this functionality of magento 2 that is how to export advanced pricing of products into a CSV file format. And still, if you have any query, any doubt or suggestions regarding this functionality, you can reach back to us at support at the red .com or you can raise our ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. And lastly, thanks for watching the video. Have a good day ahead.